Hey, ni hao. Hi, she Ben Asma. Yo, this is Ben Asma, all the way from Nanchang University, China. And this is my second update on my USMLE preparation. And then, yeah, I'm still on. I'm tired and worried, but I've not given up yet. It's, it's about five months ago since I gave my first um, video. And then the response was very good. People encouraged me, people sent me a message, told me that, man, you can do it. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who took the time out to send me a message and encourage me. Thank you very much. And I really needed that, you know. And um, I don't know if I should say fortunately or unfortunately, but I think now I should say fortunately, my application was rejected the first time. And so I had to re-register again. And that bought me uh, extra time. So I could, you know, get extra time to prepare. <clears throat> so I was supposed to take it um, November, but because it was rejected, it was postponed to March. And so now I'm taking it March 17th, 2014. So that means that I have like 20, no, 35 days more to my exams. And yeah, I'm a little bit excited, but also anxious. Mm, yesterday I took USMLE World assessment, online assessment test, and um, unfortunately I failed. And yeah, I failed, and I was I was I was happy. And no, I, I was not happy because I failed, but I was happy because you know I understood most of the questions they were asking. You know, USMLE questions are not direct questions. Sometimes they are maybe two-step two thinking process question. And so you, they'll give you the scenario and then you have to be able to deduce which disease and then which drug and before you can go and answer, maybe they ask you the, about the side effect of the drug which, which was used to treat that disease. So you have to be able to know which disease, you have to be able to know which drug you're supposed to use to treat those diseases and you have to know which of the drugs have that side effect that they're asking you about. And so yeah, I was happy that I, I, I was able to get that because my first assessment test that I took was horrible. I couldn't understand any of the question. I was just choosing any, any answer that I thought was okay. But yesterday's own, I, I think that it's kind of improvement for me. And then, on the other hand, I was, I was also a little bit down. I was, I was down because I thought, what if, you know, what all those people told me was true? What if, you know, what they told me to give up that it was difficult that I cannot pass it, I would be wasting my time, that I would be wasting my money? What if it was true? So I was, you know, it hit me like a ton of brick. So I was just thinking about it and I remember myself, I think I heard it from Tony Robbins. He said, success is not a giant event. It means that nobody just wakes up one day and then he goes to ride the USM and get 90% or maybe 230 plus. No, they all started as we were starting and sometimes it was hard for them, they couldn't. And you know, sometimes it's very difficult for me you know, considering my my background and the location of my medical school, you know, nobody here has ever written it before, and so I, I'm the first person, and so I don't have that support. Anytime I tell anybody about it, the only feedback I get is, man, that exam is difficult, you cannot pass, you know, don't waste your time and other things. But I've also, you know, learned that it's not supposed to be easy, and you're not supposed to do easy things, things that everybody is doing. And then, as we all know that if it was easy, everybody would do it. And so it's a kind of challenge for me that I've taken upon me. I know it's very big for me, but I, I, I read from Brian Tracy, he said, whatever you want to succeed in life, you need only two steps. And the first one is, you have to determine what you want. You have to be specific about it. And the second one is you have to 
determine the price you're supposed to pay and re resolve to pay that price. And so yeah, that's what I, I, I've been doing. This is what I want to do and I know it's tough but I've resolved to pay the, any price that you know, would take me there. And, and that's how it is. And this is the kind of you know, quality that we should, we should all have because trust me, on the process of preparation, there will be so many opportunities for you to give up. But what you have to remember is that winners never quit and quitters never win. And so whatever we are going through is, is the process. I heard it from um, Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher. He said, pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, an hour, or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. And so when I look back, I've come a long way. Long way preparing and learning and, you know, putting in much effort, money and energy and everything, you know. So I cannot give up now. And so I'm, I'm just going. I don't know how I'll do it. I don't know how I'll get my target score. But if you do a little research, it will become very clear to you that all the people who had high scores on USMD, they didn't know how they were going to do it. In fact, when they started, they were also just like any other normal person. But they only knew that they wanted to do it. And then they went for it. And we should remember that, you know, whatever your mind can conceive and believe, you can achieve it. And so if there's anybody going through what I'm going through now, I just want to encourage you that don't let somebody's opinion of you become your reality. And that whatever people told you that you, could, you couldn't do or could do, it doesn't matter. If you believe in yourself, you can make it happen. Yeah, so I, I, I just came through to share my experience with you that, you know, the US Emily World Online Assessment didn't go well. But I'm hoping to take the N MBME um, three weeks to come. So I'm just preparing so hard. And then I'll, I'll probably update, you know, the results of my NBME. And so I just want to just encourage everybody that, you know, let's just come together and then encourage ourselves. It's a hard journey, but, you know, with faith, I think that we can make it. So may God bless us all and then strengthen us through this journey. So, what hangout she gave me, man, show her. 再见。